Hello, pack members, it's your girl Awful here, and welcome to Gibius, a Cthulhu adventure. Now, this is the demo to a game that I found on itch.io. I'm not sure if the game is still in development or if the full version's been released or not, but I'm a sucker for HP Lovecraft themed things. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead hey, and everyone. play. And welcome to Gibbous, a Cthulhu Adventures demo. Let me put things into perspective. I won't be long, I promise. So, in the demo, we're close to the beginning of the game. I recently witnessed a private eye get kidnapped by mysterious forces. Probably because he was searching for the Necronomicon, which I found, and read a spell from, and transformed my cat, Kid A, into a talking abomination. Into a talking abomination? Your cat? It's just, uh, it's what people say when they have this a- This is unbearable. Look, I just want to be a normal cat again and not give a flying- So, let's find a way to turn Kid A back to normal, together. Please, enjoy the demo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder what my cat would say. If, uh, he could talk. Click on hotspots to interact, hold spacebar to reveal hotspots, right click for inventory, click on kitten or kitte to ask her to do stuff. Double click screen exit arrows for instant gratification. Most things can be examined multiple times. Explore all dialogue options. Exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. <laughs> A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. <laughs> hey, little girl. What are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy. What are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Let me try that again. You know, you won't get ahead in life with that kind of attitude, kiddo. I was genuinely concerned. You know, you won't get ahead in life with that kind of attitude, kiddo. Oh yeah? What are you doing with your life? I'm a student and a librarian, if you must know. Oh, so you must be like 22, right? Um... Give or take a few. That few is definitely longer than you've been on this earth. Okay, I won't say anything out loud, but I'm thinking it. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Aren't your mom and dad around? Mom and Dad moved to Fishmith last month, and we'll move there too, soon. Not until I get my fishy! Alright, alright, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishmith soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. Is Grandma a mermaid. <coughs> you know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark haired little girl standing in the middle of the street at night holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, though. I'll give you that. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Basilla. This means you've either advanced in the plot or something in the world has changed. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. Some trust granted, kind of. Alright, um... So, you're just standing there, huh? Be 
people tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them <laughs> sitting there, picking their little lies away. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Kid A, how about you climb up and get that amphibian for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Hmm, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz, you're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, Kid A. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. I doubt a little elevation would alter my perspective on things. Used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door, and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. Game saved. Really? Ugh. Never could stand fish. I like that glass right there, between those monstrosities and me. Who has a fish doll? I can't reach it from down here. Your name here, Street? <laughs> Your name here is Street. Never heard of him or her. Thanks, your name here. Just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Are you sure? Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. Sorry, no budget for inventory item condom. Joke voice acting. Okay. Um. That's Jeremiah Orne, Old Man Orne's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. Oh, gotta stretch. Uh. <coughs> okay. It's the Nut House. East Nut House. Thanks for the post generational job opportunity, Jerry. Nah. <laughs> it's a nice looking blonde lady. Hey there, hello. Approaching lonely women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. I'm sorry, miss, but this is an adventure game. I'm expected to bother everyone all the time. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I... I have a B-shaped birthmark. Nice evening we're having. Nice evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? I think I'm misrepresenting myself here. Oh, sure, sure. Gotta run. So run. Jeez, she's a bitch. What do you mean, somdi who? The Baron's not to be trifled with. 
Oh, look at the cute voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? These dolls are probably already voodoo-fied. I don't think they can help me in any way. What's up, sweetie? These things always come in handy. Run into several times. <laughs> I'm about to run into him. Uh, oh well. You'll be fine. No idea who this guy is, but his beard looks real tentacly. I want nothing to do with this guy. Get out of here. Whoever he is or was. Are you being recorded right now? Yeah. Okay. Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. Evening. It sure is. Love you too, sweetie. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh, yeah. Brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. You an investigator or something? Yep. B. Kerwan, P.I. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. There's that? Oh, yeah. What can you tell? Man, you an event. Not yet, but I'm slowly becoming one. Yeah, so. Okay. Got a scoot. What are the two words most encountered in adventure games? It's locked. Um, hello there? Password? Password. Nice try, buddy. Um, hello there? Password? Swordfish? Too classic. Um, hello there? Password? Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. People really love plastering eyes everywhere. Nah, we've got to keep the citizens informed. I'm not a weeds guy, thanks. Not only do I have no use for it, it has no reason to exist. It's closed and locked. No thanks. I'll stick around for now. Not in the demo. Am I supposed to be able to do something here? I mean... Back then, door. Now, wall. Hey, kid A. Will you hmm. see? Don't. Cup. Don't you? You mean? You're. Don't you? No way. Just 
Hmm. It's the door to the fishery. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmith, it... Nah, it's your chance to talk to a girl. Even she can't squeeze in through there. That reminds me of a game. I think it had pirates in it. Nah, she doesn't need to see a good looking dude. Nah. It's the dreaded Necronomicon. Dude, no. Jeez. I don't know who's behind that door, so no. weathered, but I think it says park gate removed due to blasphemous activities in the area. Hop fence at own peril. We do not refund garments or pay for hospitalization. <laughs> Interesting. I want nothing to do with this guy, whoever he is or was. It looks so... gibbous. Nah, too gibbous. Okay. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I don't know what to do! No thanks, I just went recently. She doesn't come with a lockpick feature. She's not leaving without me. Plus, we're both broke. That's... impossible. Nah, I'm a Euclidean kind of fellow. I'm very lost right now. Alright, so I can talk to her again. Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. 
Of course. I'm Margo, by the way. Well, at least we figured out what your name is. Nice to meet you, Margo. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? Ugh, I'm never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? Hmm. I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Y yeah. <laughs> I happen to be in anything for hire. Want to make an easy buck? I, uh, sheesh, I really can't this week. I have this cursed ancient tome and a talking cat to take care of, so... I get the feeling you're pulling my leg, Buzz. Oh, yep. you'd know if I did that. I'm, a. Uh, never mind. Gotta run. So run. Can I ask what you're- Oh, I'm- Out. Yeah, but- Ugh. I'm an under- Psst. I le- We've got different pair- Return in the- Cleaner said the- They got- I walked right into that one. <laughs> I- Gotta run. So run! So I wonder- Um, hello there? Password? I have no I Not a lot of help here. Nah. There's that. Oh yeah. What can you tell me about? Man, you want to vet? Nope. I'm just a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She, she's literally around the corner. Oh yeah. How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction, and return it yourself. This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Go on, scoot. Okay. Let's go talk to her again. I think I finally figured this out a little bit. Can I ask what you're- Oh, I- Ouch. Yeah, but what be- Ugh. Say- I- There's no option to give it to her. Got her- So run! I didn't get a letter! He didn't give me the letter. About that le- Yeah, what? Yeah, sure. Let me have it. Good man. Say, you won't open- Do 
do I look like the kind of fella who'd pry into the opposite sex's correspondence? I wouldn't know what that kind of fella looks like. Thank God. Here you go. Can't wait to see you next month. I'm toiling away this new book that's constantly a sweet perfume. Charlie is the password. Let's try that out. <coughs> um, password? Nothing. Okay. Ten cents. <coughs> All right, Margo, I'm gonna drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Charlie who? Charlie, your lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated. And he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so, the password is Fidelio. <laughs> Fidelio. Oh, oh, <clears throat> okay. Don't do anything stupid. Just stay put. I'm on it. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do hope everything works out fine. Don't worry. I got this. Well, good luck in your endeavors. Goodbye, Buzz. And thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Um, hello there? Password? Fidelio. <clears throat> okay, we're in a new location. Oh god, you're creepy. Uh, hi there. Greetings, Wanderer, and be welcome. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, worry not. I get my share of amnesiacs. You are now in the presence of the voodoo gentleman. <laughs> so I just... So what do I call you, VG? What's the, was that password part really necessary? So <laughs> what do I call you, VG? No, that sounds a little bit too gangsta. Voodoo gentleman will do. Thanks. Was that password part really necessary? It is best that I keep a low profile, lest the jackals tax me right out of town. Thus, the recommendation only access. By the way, who referred you to me? <coughs> Margo told me about you. Margo? Well, I'm glad to see you're alive and well. The voodoo gentleman. You do... Voodoo? I'm Buzz, by the way. Hmm. You do at least remember what you came here for, I trust. Uh, found me. I remember, all right. It all started when I found this book. Well, to make a long story short, I accidentally put a spell on my cat, and now she's even more annoying than she was before. A spell, huh? <laughs> How'd you go about doing that, Harry? I used this. Vaulting voodoo fixins is at the... the... The Necronomicon, in all its glory. Wanna have a look-see? No, 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 put that away. Th that thing should not be touched. Oh boy, oh boy, uh, I'm sure glad I'm not in your shoes. Um, I, I can't help you if you can't, my man. Uh, there are some things even I don't mess with. But v voodoo... Voodoo Schmoodoo, that book is ultimate evil incarnate. <laughs> well, I for one wouldn't keep it in my pants pocket. Just saying. You are ruining voodoo for me. I hope you're happy. But my cat. Ugh, cats. <coughs> we never did get along. What are the symptoms, pray tell? She kind of started talking. Oh, look, the cat speaks. Come on, come on, see the freak. She's really unhappy with her current situation. Oh, ye gods, I've had this nightmare before. Maybe a pinch, but there's no cold sweat. How can this be? It's real, Witch MD. Well, crap. 
Uh, I, I mean, alas! How could you tell this was a real comment? How can I say Oh, and a friend of mine got kidnapped too. How could you tell that was the real Necronomicon right away? Most everyone imagines it all black, bound in human skin, bearing teeth. Only true initiates know it really kind of looks like one of those British sweater vests. You know, the ones with all the crisscross things. Yeah, why is that? I guess you sometimes just go crazy with the triangles and it just doesn't turn out as evil a design as you'd think. Still, the content more than makes up for it. Pleasant colors, though. Yep, yep, very eye-pleasing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what kind of operation are you running here anyways? One that stays away from messing with the old ones. But it's just like a personifying curse. Those should be easier, right? You'd think. Oh, and a friend of mine got kidnapped, too. You don't say. Something tells me it's also Necronomicon related. He was kidnapped while looking for the damn <coughs> thing. I really wish I could help you out, but... Ugh. Was it a very close friend? <coughs> we talked for, like, five minutes. So, it was basically someone off the street. Aren't we all basically someone off the street? You sure are. <sighs> Can't you at least point me in some useful direction? Hmm. There is one person that could probably be convinced to delve into this kind of mess. Yeah? I was just getting into my intriguing plot development swing and you totally threw me off. Where was I? Oh yeah. There's this avid student of the dark arts, an undercover intruder into the Dagon cult, a dear, dear friend of mine, a man mad and passionate enough to wade through the occult mysteries of the Necronomicon itself. I imagine this guy is like an undercover D&D &D nerd that just sits in What's the What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Did he just go there? <laughs> of course I have no room to talk, I play Neverwinter online with my friends, so... Sorry, I thought you were going for a dramatic pause. Sorry, I thought you were going for a dramatic pause. <laughs> but everything I'm saying is dark and morbidly fascinating, right? Oh, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> Just a second ago, I really think I detected some goosebumps. Awesome! I've been working on my wording and delivery. Tell me more about this dark intruder drug. Tell me more about this dark intruder dragon guy. Dagon, not Dragon! The terrible god of the murky abysses, the one who seems to have Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades now. Man, where do you get all this stuff? I am a student of the occult <coughs> stuff, my greenhorn friend. Plus Wikipedia. Of course. So this Dagon's had Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades. He's the mayor the then? Like Worse than that, if you can imagine. Pay attention but to me. this is Never all mind. hearsay, since most people have been just avoiding Fishmith for years and years. <clears throat> I haven't talked to my friend in ages. Different cell phone carrier? That, and little to no perception. About this dark student you mentioned. I'm really on the fence here about telling you more. This could be very dangerous. And men in red shirts are notoriously unlucky. Stop reinforcing the stereotype. Is this about money? Money? <laughs> no. I always seem to end up working for free anyways. Okay, fine. Don't tell me. I'll just take the Necronomicon to the next occult dude in the neighborhood and see if... What? What? You'll do no such thing! Uh, please do no such thing? Oh man. Okay, just because you're such a nice guy. Please tell me who the man is. Sounds like he's our only chance. It is with great difficulty that I even utter his name. You haven't yet. Not if you keep interrupting me. Are you sure you're ready to hear his worldly denomination spoken out loud? Watch it be like Carl. Hit me. I'm bracing myself. His name is Bob Olmstein. No, no, just Bob. Bob Olmstein. Pretty sure that's what our building super's called. Waves of awe have been washing over me ever since I've heard you say Bob Olmstein. Are you perchance making fun of Bob Olmstein? I wouldn't dare. 
So you're saying I can find Bob Olmstein in Fishmouth? Well, yes, but let it be known <coughs> I am not advising you to go there. Doesn't look like I have a choice either way. Can you tell me how I can track him down once I get there? Last time we spoke, he was staying at the Finman house. Gotcha. Just remember, we don't go to Fishmouth. It's an ancient voodoo chest. I can feel waves of eerie energy emanating from it. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot to touch around here. It looks firmly locked. It's an issue of Bogue magazine. The headline reads, The Fishmouth Look. I don't want it. It creeps me out. Sinister and appropriately illuminated. I have enough creepy stuff surrounding me, thanks. Hey, isn't that... That's identical to Lemon's Mask. I don't want it, and it doesn't want me. He either died in the 1700s, or the 80s. No, I have a feeling he's been clicked enough while he lived. That's strange. It looks both human and ichthyoid at the same time. Itch what now? Fish-like. I wouldn't touch it for a hundred bucks. Hey, look, it's a double-headed doll. I think I'll have to ask the voodoo guy first. There are strange, spiky vines all over this crazy place. I really don't want to touch the strange, spiked vines. It looks like a ship's wooden hull. No, we don't need each other. That ish is bananas. I don't think I need bananas. No need for that in this day and age. Looks like a pirate sword. Looks like a beat up microwave oven. Not touching voodoo fied home appliances. <laughs> That's an oddly shaped skull. No, I just disturbed the carefully arranged decor. Hey, these are Halloween skulls. Skulls are skulls, alright? Sometimes it's hard to get the genuine article. Nah, I don't need them. Boy, that is one ancient device. Hello? Operator? I've never heard that one before. Grapes. Man, I love grapes. I'll pick them up for sure. But not in the demo. No, we're already up to our necks in ancient curses. Alright, so... That looks like an authentic voodoo throne. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure the full game is probably out for this, but I just kind of feel like goofing around playing with the demo for now. Um, she's gone. Okay, cool. She left. She does not get her wish to have her husband murdered, however. Not in the demo. I did see something back in the voodoo guy's house that had a picture, a voodoo doll, and a... Uh... <clears throat> so I'm gonna go talk to the... I'm gonna see if there's another option. To, um... Talk to him about the two-headed voodoo doll. Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein. Okay, that's it. So there's nothing else to do in here, but there's this tiny little thing down here. It shows a picture, a voodoo doll, and a thing, but unfortunately, as it said in the demo, you can't, uh... Hey, taxi! Take me to Finman House in Fishmouth. Yeah. That's real funny. Let's waste the cabbie's time with dumb jokes. No, uh, I'm serious. Take me to Fishmouth. We don't go 
to fish mate. I'll pay double. You can pay four times the fare. It ain't worth going there. You think darkum has been strange lately? Wait till you get a whiff of fish mate. So let's get a whiff. Money can't make me go there, friend. Them fishy folks will scare the scales off an anchovy. <clears throat> Look, I have this suspicious cookie. Keep that thing away from me. Some darn hippie fed me one of those about a month ago. I was seeing tentacles and all kinds of ungodly things for a week after. You don't say. I have this talking cat. We all gotta crush the bear, buddy. Amen, brother. Can I interest you in an ancient cursed grimoire? Nah, already got one of those. And it's full of my wife's special occasion dresses. What can I do for a ride to Fishmith? Well, I do have a family problem needs taken care of, but, uh... Man, it's a heck of a doozy, let me tell you. I'm all ears. Uh, see, this cousin of mine, Ed, married a woman out of Fishmont. Fishmont, can you believe it? Name's Azanath. Anyway, ever since they got together, every time I meet old Eddie, I get this strange feeling he's, uh, he's not himself. He has become Always shopping a fish. For groceries, never goes to the ball game anymore. General zombie-like complexion. Lack of will to go on? That's pretty common from what I understand. No, oh, you unmarried folks always piling on the stereotypes. No, friend, I mean, and I know it sounds crazy. It's like she's looking at me through his eyes. Like she's the one inside, right? Whoa, okay. So where's he? Good question, buddy. I mean possession. That's crazy talk, I know, but I've seen it with my own eyes, man. Now, he ain't talking much, but from what he did say, he gets littler and littler time as himself every day. And I'm worried sick, man. Look, I don't know what your deal is, but get rid of Azanet for me, and I'll drive your butt to Fishmont like it was nothing. Quest unlocked? Uh, I, I mean, deal. Okay, then. <coughs> what can you tell me about Azanath? What's there to say? She's a creepy one, that's for sure. Looking like a darn fish if I ever saw one. I've been driving cabs forever, and I never heard of anyone else called Azanath in Darkham, so there's that. Hope that'll help you. Thanks. What can you tell me about Ed? Name's Edward. Edward Derby. He's my cousin, supports the tentacles. Don't care much for light beer or garlic-based toppings. Thanks, that's very insightful. Okay, got it. Got a scoot. Okay, so we unlocked a new thing, but where do I find these people? Looks like I gotta go talk to Voodoo Guy again. Because I can't. There's no, no one else to really talk to but this creepy little elf chick standing in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> talk to you again? Or are we just gonna talk about Ben? Voodoo Gentleman, I need you to help me help someone out. Oh no. Whose life is the Necronomicon ruined now? No, nothing like that. There's this cabbie outside, and his cousin's body is apparently being possessed by his wife, Asenath. It's like he swaps bodies with his wife against his will. Wife swapping? That's crazy! Yeah, anyway, help me help his cousin get rid of this Asenath character. Hmm. Well, since I can't help change your cat back, I might as well give you a hand with this possessing business. Actual voodoo freaking magic? My special brand of it, yes. We will need to craft a personalized voodoo spell. You're getting a platinum package deal here, buddy. I fear a fetch quest is in order. You'll need a doll. Well, that goes without saying. Then you'll need something that cuts, chops, or severs. And finally someone... How can I put this? Attractive. 
We're not talking chopping attractive people's limbs off here, right? Oh no, I have one motto. Do no physical harm. You have some dolls around. Can't we use one of them? That's my private collection, Buzz. No touchy. <laughs> but I don't know where to get a doll at this hour. Oh, it's easier than you think. Like taking candy from a baby. Found these scissors. Good eye! Found this picture of a male model. A strapping young man. It'll do. All right, Gotta so run. the little girl I'll had be a here, doll. Buzz. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I can get the doll from her <coughs> by convincing Kitty to get the fish so I can get the doll. And then... Okay, so now we can start combining stuff. So it's getting interesting now. All right, let's talk to Priscilla. Ah, we got itch. <coughs> Nice doll you have there, Priscilla. This stupid old thing. It doesn't even look like mommy and daddy anymore. I don't even want to know what that's supposed to mean. So, what can I do to get that doll of yours? What the heck do you need a doll for at this hour, you creep? Never you mind, Priscilla. I don't want anything but my fishy back! Okay. You, dumb cat, fetch fish, now! Hey, Kid A, how about you climb up and get that amphibian for me? Really, Buzz? What's in it for us? Another doll in exchange for it. Your preoccupations are a constant source of wonderment and worry. But okay, we're quid pro quoing. Good kitty. He's a squeaky fish! Talk to Priscilla. All right, Priscilla. Here's your fishy. Let me have the doll. <laughs> Deal, creep. This town, man. This freaking town. All right, so Priscilla's got her weird fishy creature back. I've got the doll that I need. Now to go talk to the voodoo gentleman about getting rid of a fish one. Yeah, this is my life now. <clears throat> Found a doll. You mean mercilessly ripped from the- All right, what do you want to call it? Todd, Chad, Brittany. Asenath. Asenath it is. So that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? Okay, so it's picture, doll, scissors. Picture, doll, scissors. Alright, here we go. Jambalaya! Um, okay, what just happened? Azanath just lost her head over some male model dude. I told you. I deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. <laughs> Yay, we're down to nicknames. Did some good, I guess. Achievement unlocked. Got it right the first time. So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? Well, not every. Thing, but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kid A back now. You do that. Please. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. <laughs> that was an interesting bit. <clears throat> Taxi driver! Heard from Ed lately. You. You're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 you're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with Ed. 
Azenek left him for a male model. My god, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So, wanna go to Fishmouth? Want? No. But I'm a man of my word, friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, kid -A? Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. Oh, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Alright, so that is the end of the demo. That was fun! I am going to look up and see if the full game is out, and if it is... So, that was our demo. Hope you enjoyed it. And, if you did, please consider helping make this game by contributing to our Kickstarter campaign. Give. Us. Your. Money! <laughs> Kitty, I think we should be a little nicer to the people who can make this... Give it now! All of it, now! Settle down now. <laughs> uh, help us make this game and get Kitty back to normal. She reminds me so much of Will my ya? cat socks. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right, so that is the end of the demo. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and if you wish to try this out for yourself, or if the full game is available, I will leave the links in the description below. Be sure to give that notification bell a high five so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!